afternoon, I'm Mia Riley. A new deadly virus is out there, but it's not after you. It's after your computer. That's what's new at 4.30. Take a close look at these files. If you have them on your computer, you might be in trouble. This is the Hare Krishna virus. And if you have it, this is the last thing you may see on your computer today. A message signed, Demon Emperor, followed by the word, Hare Krishna. The Hare Krishna virus is a killer of hard drives. When the Hare Krishna machine is going to eradicate the uh, operating system and the start mechanism for your machine, that means you're dead, completely dead. The Krishna virus is written to strike today and again on September 22nd. This virus basically scrambles your hard drive so you can't find any of your files. Well, Rick is in our newsroom now with a computer expert to talk more about this virus. Rick? I had to run up the stairs when I get to the newsroom real quickly. But first off, with me right now is Marcus Gearsbach, who uh, computer technicians, they will call him a computer doctor. And I guess the first question is, for a lot of people who don't really know much about this, what is a computer virus in simple terms? A uh, computer virus is a uh, software program written by programmers that uh, infect programming files and describes and they'll replicate going from one computer to and another. And it's really like a disease that infects your computer, right? Right, and, but the only difference is it's a man-made disease. It's not like a natural disease. And we just heard about the Hare Krishna one, but there are a lot of others, correct? Right. Uh, the Hare Krishna is the one that's being publicized at the moment, but there are a lot of others that um, infect a lot more computers, and that would be the Stone virus, uh, the Jerusalem virus, and uh, ping pong is another ping pong. one that was uh, more prevalent in the 80s. And the most famous one, of course, is Michelangelo. That's what right. everybody seems to talk about. March 6th. Now, let's talk about hard Christian. For those people who have a computer, there is something you can do to protect yourself. And right. you've got it on this computer. Show us real quick. Right. There are a lot of virus programs that are out there. There's uh, Symantec, Norton Antivirus products you can buy like uh -huh. that. And there's MacV. Right here we have MacV virus scan for Windows. And the important thing is it's really very simple to solve this problem, right? Correct. You just go in and hit scan, and that's about it. And next thing you know, it's scanning, and it's just like a doctor that's going through and looking for problems and then weeds them out. Correct. Goes through all the files, and uh, any files to the extension, exe or com, will go through and check for those files. And once again, these are the products you can buy, things like Norton antivirus. There's also this thing called Netscape Power Pack, which has a device that scans some of the things even before they get on your computer. And I guess that's the most important thing. For people who have it on the computer, that's one thing, but how can right. people avoid getting this virus on their computer? Uh, the biggest way to avoid it is just really to scan all the software that you get, um, even commercial packages. There's been a lot of viruses that have come through. And where do most of these problems come from? Um, Not somebody walking by your computer. It doesn't no, spread no, that no. way. No, it's, uh, a lot of times it comes from university systems. Usually you'll bring a cup, a disk scan. And it's just like this. I'm just like that. A simple little floppy. The right. problem is somebody has somehow gotten a, a disease, a virus on it. Right, them. correct. From and another machine. And you stick it in there and it just literally jumps right on right. your hard disk. It'll infect your machine and any disk that uh, is put in the machine after that will infect that and then uh, go from disk to disk and computer to computer. And is it just standard? I mean, what about the ones that are commercially bought that you get from a company? Could those be infected? Uh, yes, because some software uh, stores repackage return software. So if a consumer takes a product home, uh, infects the software, and then brings it back, uh, and it gets repackaged and put on the shelf, that's another way it can be spread as well. And once you get it, something like a Hare Krishna Michelangelo, what's your option? Uh, just uh, make sure that you're, uh, you get virus software and just make sure that the updates are current. And keep, keep running on a regular right. basis. And once again, that's a situation involving Hare Krishna, which was supposed to hit today or September 22nd. Yeah, so on, right. if you didn't get hit today, you might want to, in the next month, go out and get a product like the Norton Antivirus or McAfee or one of the other ones. And you might want to consider running one of these products because uh, they save you a lot of time and heartache down the line. Yeah? All right, thanks very much.